Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I want to show you some pretty cool things. Some rare items, guns, masks, books, events. Real quick. Um, right here in Rhodes, if you go up to the gunsmith, this is where you get your Lancaster rifle. You may have already gotten this, so I'll make it quick. I'm not going to show any spoilers. You just go up to this little window right here. Follow the rest. It's a pretty cool little storyline. You'll get your Lancaster rifle inside in that basement. Next thing we're going to look at is this house right here in Rhodes. You're going to go to it, and if you notice that at the fence, oh, pardon me, at the fence, uh, the guy will make you a trinket out of the abalone shell. This is where you get that. So you go into this door right here. I've already gotten it. But you go right into this door. And it's going to be down here on the counter on the right. That's the abalone shell fragment. Very next thing. This house right here. I'm going to tell you a few little things. Uh, there's a few houses that the doors are locked and you are able to kick them open shoot them open with a shotgun or use dynamite to blow the doors open there's also windows to be climbed in if you ever see a house that you can't get into a lot of times you can blow the window open climb through or you can blow the door off some doors don't work like that but i want to show you this house right here so you go to this location and what you're going to do is you're not going to be able to go inside the door. It's all boarded up. But you can climb up and go through this window. This is the man bear pig. I don't know if you heard of that. It's a mutated creature that they threw in here. I guess this would be considered an Easter egg. You can't search anything else besides this room. Someone's been in here recently though. You can go around and you can find this different paperwork that has his drawings and what ingredients he used to make the man bear pig. And you can keep these on you. Um, but there's a few things in here. There's a few chests, a few loot boxes you can look at, open up, take some stuff out. Um pretty interesting a lot of strange stuff goes on down here in the south in the swamps but yeah there's a lot of houses like I said that have locked doors but some of them test them out shoot them with a shotgun put dynamite on the front of it or look for a window to shoot out you can actually shoot out the windows the frames and if you can climb through try it out um, a lot of little hidden things where you can get inside our houses. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you what this thing looks like. As you can see, it's strapped to the wall. Um, kind of sick looking. There's a few creatures here in this room you can look at. But your guy will mark it on the map. That way, uh, it'll be on your map from now on. So if any of your friends ask you where it's at, you can quickly just pull out your map and see real quick. Alright, on to the next thing. So some of you might already say, ah, oh, the Viking helmet already got this. Uh, there's more to it than just that and the hatchet. If you got those, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go to the star area. Right next to this table, there will be a Viking hatchet. I've already gotten that. I want to show you a few things. My computer was acting up the other day and didn't. it was supposed to have been recording this and it didn't. So I'm having to go back, but the items are gone, but I'll show you where they're at. Right here is a Viking helmet. It'll spawn in there. A lot of people leave thinking that's it. Go right over here to these four skulls. Shoot out the middle two skulls. Get rid of them. And underneath them will be a Viking comb. Right north of there, there's this little house, this location right here. 
you're going to go up to it and go inside. It's a nice little spot. When you go inside, there's going to be a bunch of dead people. There's a hole in the roof where a meteorite came through and hit the ground. You're going to come in here and get the meteorite. Uh, you can take it to a fence. He will use it to make you a trinket. If you travel a little bit north of there, you're going to come across this strange building. Something looks like Tesla would have lived in. A lot of electrical going on. A lot of lights. I shot out the... It wouldn't let me uh, enter any doors. There's about four doors. Couldn't enter them. Tried blowing them up. Could not enter this build. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the storyline later on. I was able to shoot out the windows and window frames. But despite having boxes around the windows, it wouldn't let me climb up on top of them. So they really don't want you in this building right now. But if you run around back, there is a cigarette card if uh, you're still collecting them. And I guess this is kind of an Easter egg for Tesla because the cigarette card is right here and it is actually the light bulb. So these trees right here that are shaped like L's, these are near the tracker in the northeast mountains. I learned about these when I was a kid. Native Americans used to bend saplings down and when the trees grew they they were bent like this. Well you can actually go up and your guy will illustrate them. He'll draw them and he'll put them on his map. What they do is they show they were used to show Native Americans which way to go. They point in a certain direction first time I passed by this I thought they were just kind of following the trail like this used to be an old Native American trail I found out later that uh, not only can you examine them but they also go off-road I kept following it and sure enough there was one more down here now from what I learned what these trees used to uh, you can still find these nowadays still growing out in the woods Native Americans used them to point towards settlements and or water. Well, here's where the trail kind of ended, kind of went on a cold spell for them. As you can see, your guy marks them. It's right by the tracker, southwest of Ansburg. But this is where the trail went cold. If anybody else knows anything more about this, please let me know. It's pointing towards this little mining area which I think is what you're supposed to be looking at there's also a river down south here down the hill or down north down the hill um, but uh, there's nothing down there there's a boarded up mine right here I've tried blowing up and everything else I can't get into it I'm not sure what secret I'm sure there's more to this so now we're going to be down in the swamps. I'm going to show you the pig mask. So we're right down here, right by the R in New Hanover. We're down here in the swamps. So go to this location right here. And when you do, just walk up to this pole right here. And when you do, it says swap for a pig mask. And you'll have this pig mask on. Kind of creepy. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go right here on your map to the far east. This is a Civil, Civil War fort. So we're going to come in here and what we're going to do is be careful right here. There's a lot of copperheads. You see my horse is freaking out. I think uh, being in the south, southeast area, I think just this fort alone, I ran into about three or four copperheads. You'll find some notes in here that kind of back up uh, some of the stories. If you've been picking up notes and been reading some of the books and notes, 
there's a storyline that continues in here. I won't show all of that. I don't want spoilers. But I will show you where to find a couple items in here. As soon as you enter through the gate, go into the first left building. Now these guard towers that are in the corners, they do hold cigarette cards. As soon as you enter, there's uh, one of the cigarette cards is right here. So make sure you check this place thoroughly. Anyway, whenever you pick that up, go around the box, go down the ladder. You can put on your miner's helmet or pull out your lantern. If you don't know about the miner's helmet, I have that in one of my other videos. Anyway, look around here. Right here uh, is the silver, silver, I don't know why I can't say that. Silver War Knife. So you can pick that up, kind of look at it. It'll be added to your collection. It'll help you towards your 100% completion. Now once you get that, kind of walk around. There is a corner, there's a back corner that I came across. I'm just walking around kind of looking to see what's what. That way you don't have to waste your time checking in these corners. Just a few things on the shelf I didn't need. So walk all the way around here. You got a loot box. You can open that up real quick. Some bullets inside. That's about it. On the side of this cage over here in the corner, that is where you can swap your hat. And it is a Civil War hat. This is kind of what it looks like. So the next thing right here in this location, southeast of Emerald Station, in this little cabin. It's a nice looking place, nice looking cabin. Looks real peaceful. You're going to go in here. You're going to kick this door open, actually. I'll let you kick it open. Go ahead and pull your lantern out. And you're going to see this gas floating around. And you're going to find a mother, a father, a grandmother. And you're going to find, unfortunately, a child dead on the floor. Or they died of some kind of gas. I'm hoping that this will explain more in the storyline. But just kind of, you can just kind of walk around. I don't think you can loot any of the bodies. You can walk around, collect some stuff. But the thing is, in here, is there is a rare book that we're going to collect. And it's a good read if you want to read it. Um, but I'm just getting everything for my 100% completion. And it's right here on the, on the nightstand. So now we're going to go to the other book. And this is right around the same area. I will show you on the map here in just a minute. I'll run in. Looks like uh, an old school or something. The book is sitting on the table. This is an old abandoned... Uh, little village that you come across and your guy will illustrate it put it on the map he'll mark it down that way you can find it easily again or tell a friend exactly where it's at but it's a good little read I'm just skimming through it came back later and read it And you'll hear about these same stories from strangers if you talk to a lot of strangers. But here it is on the map. A little village called Pleasance. 
right above the O there. So the next one is as far west almost as you can go. We're going to go all the way out here. And this is the Pagan Mask. So it just so happens a bear walked up right where I was going. I had to shoot the bear. But you come up and there's a pagan ritual on the ground. With a mutilated body in the middle wearing a bone mask. That they use for pagan rituals. Your guy will illustrate this so it's easier to find on the map. If you ever need to come back for some reason but you just walk up to the guy and you can put the pagan mask on this will go towards your 100% completion next thing so I'm riding along I see this group of birds some of you might have heard about this pretty neat it's way up north here near the Indian reservation in between the R and the I up here. So I'm riding along see a group of birds, right? You never see a group of birds flying in the game like this. You might see two or three, but that's it. Maybe four or five ducks, but you never see a group of about a dozen birds. If you ever do, please follow them. They will always take you somewhere. So I'm following these birds seeing where they go and I'll go ahead and tell you ahead of time I'm not going to show you everything I don't want to spoil anything for you for you these birds are going to take me to a giant if you've seen one of my videos I showed you where the giant bone carcass is found up in the mountains well this these birds are going to take me to a live giant that is trapped in a cave I want to go and talk to him now the one thing that I am not going to spoil for you is that uh, a lot of people think that's it you go up you find it, it's a pretty cool little Easter egg you go up you talk to a giant you ride off if you wait three days and it doesn't have to be three days exact. It just has to be after three days. You can wait four or five days if you want. But if you wait three days and come back to this spot where I'm going to show you where I'm going to be talking to this giant, he will start a whole new conversation. It'll be a part two on it. Now, I have not found a part three yet. But if you come back after three days, there will be a part two to it. And he will have a completely different conversation to you, or with you. I'm not going to show that. I don't want to spoil everything for you. It's a lot more fun when you're wandering around and you find things like this than it is to try to look up everything on the internet sometimes. So, I greatly appreciate everybody watching my video, but I'm not going to spoil everything I want some of the fun for you. I'll go ahead and uh, let you hear this dialogue real quick. How are you? I'm rather lonely. You see, I'm too big. I haven't got any friends because I'm too big. Is that so? Yes. Yes, it is so. That's sort of why I said it. That and because I was lonely and wanted to talk more. Much about that. Neither do I. Be well, friend. Be well. And that is it for him at this point in time. Like I said, come back in three days. One more thing that I have to show you guys. And the cave is right here. This is where the cave is, where I end up after following the birds. The last thing I want to show you right here, McKay. 
I want to show you how to get the cat skull mask. So in this area, there's this house that's fallen down. It's halfway in the water. Make sure you get your lantern out. Go inside. You're going to squat down to go through here. And the cat skull mask is up on the wall for you to get. Kind of creepy out here. But guys, that is it for this video. If you like the video, please hit like. Please share it. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.